Hi everyone. You usually don't see me like this, but I'm a little upset. And I just wanted to reach out to my fans to commiserate over the loss of so many show business greats. First, a candlelight tribute to Philip Seymour Hoffman. And by now, I'm sure you've all heard the bad news about Robin Williams. But have you heard the bad news about Jerry Seinfeld? He's still alive. <laughs> I'm told the real reason Robin committed suicide is that he lost the role of Mrs. Doubtfire II to trans actress Bruce Jenner. <laughs> And Robin Williams and Lauren Bacall nominated Joan Rivers to the ALS Kick the Bucket Challenge. And Joan came in dead last. Poor Joan. When I heard the news that a famous female comic had died, I hoped it was Kathy Griffin. But then I realized she's not funny or a female. When Kathy Griffin heard that Joan had died at the age of 81, she said, I didn't realize Joan was that much younger than me. Joan once threw Kathy out of a posh dinner party at her Fifth Avenue digs, saying, get your wrinkled gray cunt out of here. So Kathy grabbed Anderson Cooper and they left. Joan has finally died, but her face is in intensive care and expected to make a full recovery. It just felt wrong that Joan died before so many older stars, like Betty White or Madonna. <sighs> Still, Joan died doing what she loved most, having surgery performed on her. A workhorse until the very end, Joan released a DVD the second they unplugged her from life support. Joan Rivers, unplugged. I went to Joan's service in New York and I was very upset that they didn't have a fan blowing her hair like Beyonce's. She had specifically requested that in her book. I was so upset that I grabbed a fan and blew him in the men's room. It's not all bad news for the Rivers family. At least they won't need an embalmer because Joan is to be cremated. The cremation will be the last of Joan's many roasts. <laughs> Joan's family has passed along instructions to the crematorium for the ceremony to mark her final passing. Remove from box, pierce plastic with sharp knife, cook at 1,000 watts for 10 to 12 minutes, and then let stand one minute. <laughs> Joan finally made them laugh in Palestine. She died! Give me a minute. Drag Race winner Bianca Del Rio appeared in the final episode of In Bed with Joan, her web series, which is proof that getting in bed with Bianca is the kiss of death. If you need more proof, ask any man Bianca's ever slept with, but you will need a Ouija board. Look on the bright side. This is the first time that anyone has ever been interested in anything that Melissa has to say. The saddest thing about this whole Joan Rivers thing is that after years of looking at that surgically rehabbed mug, we will never see that hatchet face on TV ever again. Goodbye, Melissa Rivers. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, Joan. Thanks for making us laugh so hard for so long. 1933 to 2014. Rest in peace, Joan Rivers.